in this video i explain multiple comparison test in anova table but if you are new on my channel statisticians club please subscribe the channel now let's start what is multiple comparison test after analysis of variance if f test rejects our null hypothesis and we can conclude that k population means are not equal as you know in null hypothesis we suppose that population means are equal and in alternative hypothesis we assume that population means are not equal so in null hypothesis equality sign is used and in alternative hypothesis not equal sign use so when you in in when you use anova table and by using f test you reject null hypothesis it means k populations means are not equal because you accept alternative hypothesis and in alternative hypothesis means are not equal this conclusion is not sufficient to satisfy the experimenter because experimenter would like to know which treatment means might differ significantly from each other suppose that your alternative hypothesis is mu1 not equal to mu2 not equal to mu3 not equal to mu4 so when you accept your alternative hypothesis you only uh, have one answer that your means are not equal so which means differ from which you cannot know so for the purpose of Uh, for the purpose to find which means differ from which we use multiple comparison test so the anova test test anova test itself provides only statistical evidence of a difference but not any statistical evidence as to which mean or means are statistical different so for this purpose several tests based on different viewpoint have been developed to make comparison between pair of means such tests used as a follow up of f test and these tests are called multiple comparison test so the first test is official least significant different test it is also abbreviated as lsd test second is student neman quills multiple range test third is duncan's multiple range test fourth is shafis test in my upcoming videos we discuss all these tests in detail what are these if you want to see videos on on objective question of analysis of variance and objective questions of non parametric test then click the link in front of your screen thanks for watching